Today we are talking about the best investments I made in my 20s. I spilled the beans looking back on this decade of my life. Stay to the end where I share the best investment I made in my 20s. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I love talking about financial freedom after experiencing burnout early on in my pharmacist career. On this channel, I talk about passive income and simplifying to combat feelings of burnout and stress in your life. I also share openly about my burnout story and how we paid off massive student loan debt on our way towards financial independence retire early. Make sure to watch those videos as well. One of the best investments in my 20s, finishing my education and training consecutively. Now, this is really important as a female who wants to be independent and self-sufficient and self-supporting, and it's really important to get that education, the training that you need, and find the career path that you're looking for. And I spent nine years training. It was a consecutive process where I spent three years in my bachelor degree, four years in my doctor degree, and two years in postgraduate residency training into my critical care path as a board-certified critical care pharmacist. And being able to put that first and being able to establish myself as a really independent, strong woman who can support myself financially and health-wise was really important and a top priority in my 20s. And this is something that I think is often overlooked because, you know, being able to have this within our control is really important. You know, putting off some of the external factors like having a house or having a marriage or a wedding or children are external factors that could be put off during your 20s and wait until your 30s to really do those things so that you can really establish yourself, your education, your career, and yourself as a strong, confident woman who can support herself financially and not rely on anyone else. I think this is really important because my parents instilled this in me because they never wanted me to rely on someone else like a husband to support me or support my lifestyle and being able to establish that in my 20s was a big investment. This is a big investment in my 20s because of the time commitment towards it and the financial commitment towards it related to my education. The next investment I made in my 20s is car maintenance. And yes, many of you know that I drive a 22-year-old car and I'm in my 30s now. And it was a big investment and a great investment that's paid off by investing in my car maintenance because I'm able to drive this 22-year-old car now in my 30s because of the work I did in my 20s to have no car payment and keep it running with that yearly maintenance and checkup, whether it was oil changes or tire rotations or new tires, new brakes, um, new things that went into the car with daily and you know yearly maintenance, that it's really important to a car to have it functioning over 20 years later. And this is a big deal because it saves a big chunk of the financial component in your 30s. If you still have a running car where you do not have to have a car fund for a new or used car taken away from other goals in your life. The next investment I made in my 20s was travel and specifically grouping travel with my work travel. So being able to take vacations is really important, have those experiences, memories in life, and being able to group those with work travel both saved us money and allowed us to enjoy certain perks along the way. And my husband and I both did this with our professional development funds. A lot of the companies will have some type of professional development where they're paying for you to present or go to certain conferences for your career path. My work does that and so does my husband's. So over the years, we've been able to travel. You know, One example is going to Orlando, Florida. I went there for a pharmacy conference and then we stayed a few extra days and went to Disney World. And my husband was able to join me uh, because the hotel was covered partly during that stay. And then we stayed a few extra days, paid for the hotel out of pocket. And then my flight was covered there and back by my work and professional development fund. We've also been able to do this by going to Hawaii for the first time together. My husband had a conference there. We were able to stay in Honolulu at this amazing hotel during the stay, and then we extended it by a few days and were able to invest a little bit of time and money into a Maui trip as well. We've also been able to do this by staying in really nice hotels, whether they're four-star or five-star ratings, and typical hotel nights are $700 to $1,000 a night, and by investing while we were traveling for work, you know, work at you know, certain group rates for conferences where the hotel is up to 50 to 60% off, and we were able to stay in this really nice hotel for $300 to $400 a night, and it's been a great experience being able to travel that way and then travel you know, in a little bit more luxury, but also being able to balance how we paid off our student loans during the same amount of time and how we were able to really have financial well-being while experiences and memories at the same time. 
Now, the next three examples were great investments in my 20s, and there's something that you might be surprised about. The next investment I made in my 20s was LASIK eye surgery, and this was a great investment if you wear glasses or contact lenses. I had um, vision that was pretty poor since third grade, and I had glasses, I've had contacts, and I had astigmatism and different things going on with my eyes, and being able to wait until my eyes were stable enough to qualify for LASIK eye surgery in my mid 20s and then being able to make the investment in it was really important. It is something that many health insurance companies do not pay for. So I actually did pay out of pocket for my LASIK eye surgery. I documented all on this blog post about it. So you can click the link below about my LASIK eye surgery experience, who I went to in Los Angeles, California for it, and what happened a year later, and you know, my thoughts about it. And it's something that I think was a great investment. It's something that will pay dividends in the future, both for the financial commitment of buying glasses or contact lenses and for the time commitment of not having to worry about that. I can actually open my eyes and actually read the clock nowadays. The next investment I made in my 20s was buying a very nice bed. And this is something that might be often overlooked, but we also have to remember that we sleep in our beds, you know, seven to 10 hours a night. And it's something that if we are spending one third of our life in, it better be a really functional, really quality type of experience. So making that investment in my mid twenties was really important. It was something that we researched for several months and tried out different types of beds, what type of company and what kind of um, mattress we really wanted. And then we settled on a Tempur-Pedic mattress. And it's something that it was a big investment that's going to last, you know, probably eight to 10 years of our life. And it's something that we spend one third of our life on. So I think it's really important if you're having any sleep hygiene problems, not getting enough sleep, it's going to affect your entire well-being and your entire health. And it's something that it is a great investment if something that you are struggling with. The next investment I made in my 20s was a water filter. And this also seems really simple, but you know, thinking about how we are eco-conscious, how we are impacting this earth and this planet and being able to go away from any water bottles and be able to make sure we have clean and healthy drinking water is really important. So installing a water filter in our home, in our apartment home, has been something that's a great investment and it allows us to use water in an intentional way with refillable types of glasses and mugs and thermoses and make sure that it's healthy in our environments. And anytime I talk about well-being, I always talk about how water and hydration and sleep hygiene and getting enough sleep are the two things we can do to really help our well-being and our health right away. You know, it's not all those big things that we need to be doing in our life. If we don't get the adequate hydration with water each day, if we don't get the adequate sleep with eight hours of sleep a night, nothing else is going to matter towards our health if we're not getting those two things right. Now, what was the best investment I made in my 20s? I would say the best investment I made in my 20s is some of my financial education and contributions to my retirement accounts. And yes, I do wish I would have started a little bit higher, a little bit earlier, but I did make those contributions into my work 401k starting in my mid 20s and I was able to contribute a large percentage of my paycheck and nearly max out or max out my 401k contributions in my 20s. And this will pay dividends in the years to come as it compounds over time. Yes, I wish it would have been a little bit higher. And yes, I wish my employer match would have been a little bit higher. Yes, I wish that my Roth IRA would have been started in my 20s as well. But looking back, at least I did something and it will help with my financial well-being in the future. So if you can get started with your retirement accounts as early as possible in your 20s, I highly recommend doing that. I would love to hear what were the best investments in your 20s or early on in your life. Please comment below. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for weekly advice and make sure you're taking action with our free financial starter kits and resources linked below. Until next time, cultivate joy.